All right, well, let's get started. He says has more going. Exactly. Okay, well, we're going to be chaos again for the fourth time. Well, I guess technically the fifth time because Professor Layton versus Phoenix Wright. It, well, I don't remember. I, th I think you had to put your name in there for like the file. This is a work of fiction. The characters, groups, and events portrayed within are in no way intended to resemble those of the real world. Long ago, in a lawless age, a pack of bandits invaded a small village. Amidst the chaos, a terrified young farm girl played her flute to drown out the madness. As the music spiraled high into the sky, a giant specter appeared above her. She begged the specter to destroy the bandits, and it swiftly obeyed. The town was saved, and the specter vanished just as quickly as it had appeared. But the yeah. farm girl knew that in times of danger, she needed only to play the flute, and the specter would appear again. Why am I not seeing this guy's face? Show us his face! A quaint tale, wouldn't you say? Aye, master. I think the time has come for us to pen the next chapter. What? Of course, master. Uh, 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 okay. Dang. Time for tea. Oh, is that okay? What do you think, Luke? Do you see anything yet? No, nothing. Oh, oh he's sleepy. I was like, I'm is he okay? A tough time buying all of this. Hi. It sounds like some scary bedtime story. Is this even possible? Well, we'll soon find out. Oh, hello, Zander. And a poor little boy who predicts where the giant specter will appear. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> So what now? I mean, what if this thing never even shows up? Well... Uh, hmm? Huh? What is... what on earth could that be? It sounds like... it sounds like music! Huh? It must be the flute! Um... Uh, hello? Hello? Quickly, to the window. <gasps> to the wall. Oh. oh. Um. What is that thing? <laughs> it's a heartless. I never knew Kingdom Hearts and Layton collab. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized the mouse was over the. Oh! Finally, seeing this dark giant made me even more determined to help the professor keep his word. Keep his Together, word? We would shine the light of truth upon this ghastly shadow. Layton doesn't deserve that. No, this is true. Yeah, well, I think her hair is still pretty crazy, and because I think you said the Eternal Diva happens after this. So we meet again. Wait, what? Okay, oh, hello? How do we know crazy driver lady? Oh, is she driving a scooter? I like her even more now. Hell yeah. Wait. Oh, that's Layton School. <sighs> hello? Oh? Top of the morning. Why, thank you very much. Yeah, bye. Professor? Oh, Professor? Uh. Professor, a letter just came for you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Whoa. Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, do you Sounds have a like bed? I was up researching all night again. It's no <laughs> wonder the other professors are so intimidated by you. He just loves Ooh. puzzles. They just think that I'm some young upstart. You work too hard, Professor. It's no good. How old is he? I by don't the way, know. Dean Delmona came by and said he needed to speak to you. be almost 30. What is this? Today. If not 30. I don't know why you had to tell hmm. me that. He could have Regards, just Clark. Day, if you ask me. After all these years? Huh. Rosa, I'm going out. But she just I... made tea. Oh. <laughs> huh. 
Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> I hope he remembers to eat something. Well, a true gentleman always drinks his tea. Yeah, <laughs> professor. Oh, well. Oh, now she's gonna chase him. That is a pretty nice scooter. Excuse <laughs> Okay. Cool, yeah, just cut him off. Nice. See here, what was that about? <sighs> nice to see you again, Professor Layton. And you are? Hello? <laughs> Where's this? Why didn't Dean Dilmona tell you? Where's your scooter? Where did we put it? I don't think it fits in the light mobile. Tell me what? I'm Emmy Eltava, your new assistant. Wait, what? Call me Emmy. Why do what? I'm sorry, you're my <laughs> uh, excuse me. Assistant. You do know what an assistant is, don't you? <laughs> yes, Luke exists. Of course. I'm sorry, Miss Altava, but... Uh, I didn't ask for one of you. Professor, please, Emmy, and stop apologizing so much. All right, Emmy. So sorry, but it <laughs> seems that there has been some sort of mistake here. Oh, I don't think so, Professor. Dean Delmona hired me himself. Yeah, but why? It seems that you have been too busy to attend your departmental meetings lately. Is oh. that right? Oh, <laughs> somebody's been slacking. <laughs> Yeah, like at the end of the second game where, where he's like, hey, don't you have that lecture? And he's like, bah! <laughs> what are you talking about, Luke? I don't need to do lectures. Well, I suppose there might be some truth to that. However... Uh, a gentleman doesn't constantly change his schedule. Sounds to me like if anyone needs an assistant, it's you. So, from now on, I'll be the backup on all your projects. Got it? Great, I can't wait to get started. He didn't even get to say anything. That's not how responses work. I wasn't too surprised the professor didn't remember me. It had been some time since our first meeting after all. Okay. Oh, it's strapped to the top of the time, car! Which is exactly why he needed an assistant like me. It was my first time. Where'd they get job, rope? And I was ready for anything. Actually, you know what? A so gentleman I, always has rope. I still had yet to meet the young boy who would help us unravel the strangest mystery I could have ever imagined. Wait! Okay, so oh, so this is the start of the prequel saga, so what right? What perplexing mystery are we hot on the trail of now? Because technic okay, I get it now. But where is she later then? I because Obviously, he hasn't met Luke yet. Why would you ask that? Okay, because, yeah, I remember... I remember you guys talking about that. Well, you're off to somewhere in quite a hurry. Something must have piqued your interest. <laughs> that intuition will serve you well. This is before Leighton had a real what bed. A letter? Very good. I received wow. it about an hour ago. Go ahead, read it aloud. Very good. You have basic comprehension skills. You can indeed be my assistant. Herschel, my dear old friend, I must earnestly seek your help again. Our little town is in the most extraordinary predicament. At night, a mysterious giant shrouded in fog has been laying waste to our homes. I am convinced you can help stop this madness. Please, come soon. Regards, Clark. Clark? A giant? Her? Huh. That's a... How well do you know this person? Clark and I go back a long way. I can't imagine he would fabricate stories for no reason. I find the other message in the letter very interesting as well. Are we about to see puzzle number one? Other message? Puzzle number one? Puzzle number one? Yes! Yeah, just like Lewis and Clark. A secret message. I knew it. 
Give me puzzle number one. I show my dear old friend, I must basically seek your help again, or little must be forever. Regards, enter the hidden message below. Use the stylus to slide the letter tiles into the empty slots. Once you've arranged the tiles to spell out the hidden message, touch submit. You can't find the answer by simply reading the letter. I'll give you a clue. The hidden message is seven letters long. The l this letter is seven lines long. Keep these facts in your mind and you'll work it out easily. I got it. Hoip. Oh, wait, seven. Help, SOS. Okay, it's, I thought it was like the capitalized letters. Da, 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 Cause it's a H E L P S O S. Dang, this guy really knew what he was doing on his typewriter. I'll handle this one, Professor. Yay! God, it's really hard to tell if you're correct or not because she hides her mouth, and usually you can tell by like the little smile before the final thing. Oh, that's gonna give me anxiety. I got my pickerats. Correct. The me secret message in the letter was help, SOS. What's going on here? Yay! Puzzle one. I know about Picarettes, thanks. Gather, gather lots of them so you get special bonuses. There's a secret message spelt out using the first letter of each line. Very good, Emmy. You just may turn out to be quite valuable as an assistant after all. If you had gotten that wrong, I would have thrown you out of the car. Oh, thank you, Professor. That means a lot coming from you. But help, SOS? Why would the sender hide this message? Well, that letter was sent by Clark Triton. Whoa, 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 whoa! Clark Triton, don't tell me. Is that Luke's dad? Very dear friend of mine. Perhaps he added the hidden message to catch my attention. Still, it's not quite like what I'd expect from him. Oh, this does sound mysterious. I can't believe it. My first day on the job and I'm already, it, it's already so Leighton-esque. This is great. You, he has a certain reputation with the ladies of solving puzzles. Uh, Leighton-esque? Is that, what does that mean? You already heard of me before today. <laughs> is that what the kids say these days? <sighs> heard of you, but of course I have. I know everything there is to know about you, professor. That's, Herschel Layton, youngest man to be awarded a Gresson Heller University Professorship at the age of 27. Okay, so in this game, he's got to be 27. Because I'm guessing he, he, he just became a professor fairly recently. Okay, dang. We have a... So he's actually not that old. And in the unwound future, I don't know, he's probably like... I don't know like the how far apart the games are, but he can't there can't be like more than maybe like a year in between each. And a stalker. She's just curious. Published in numerous ac academic journals, I could recite them chronologically if you'd like. Astute intellect and preternatural obser observational skills have proved invaluable for Scotland Yard. Assisted in solving some of London's most notoriously difficult cases. Unmarried, 34 years old, Capricorn. I made that last part up. Oh, just a guess. Oh, he's 34 now. Capricorn. Okay. She does seem a little sus. Never mind. Hey, what's going on? Avoid a cat. This is pre Luke. Well, I see you've certainly done your homework. Tell me, Emmy, why do you think Dean Delmona selected you to be my assistant? I told him that I wanted to work with you and that I wasn't going to take no for an answer. Okay. Really? And may I ask why you were so intent on working with me? 
Just as I suppose he doesn't remember. You don't know you tried to it's okay. It is it is totally pre-loop. Yo, you're sewing shorts? Well, good luck with that. Like cosplay or like fixing up an old pair? What was that, Emmy? Oh, nothing, Professor. I'll tell you at some point. Now, where are we going? Hmm. Emmy, while you are my assistant, I must ask that you to respect my most important rule. As a gentleman, I cannot allow you to accompany me into any dangerous situations. Wow! They, they, literally nobody listens to that rule. I'd like to see people do latent or ace attorney cosplay. I would do a, a latent cosplay if I could find a hat and a popped collared. I mean, I just need like an orange shirt and the jacket. I guess just some nice pants. Also, hi. How are you doing today, princess? Of course, professor. As long as we keep in mind that there are exceptions to every rule. <laughs> some ladies, you know, are thrilled by the prospect of danger. Wow. Okay. Cool. Yes. Uh, well. In answer to your question, we are heading to the town of Miss Hollery. Or, I don't know if it's Miss Hollery or Miss Thollery. Where my dear friend Clark resides. Miss Thollery. Miss Thollery, why does that name sound so familiar? Well, about six months ago, evidence of what appears to be an ancient culture was unearthed here. You can read it on this newspaper that's written in, I don't know, Sanskrit? I, it, well, it's the something times, and then who knows what that says. Ara, ara. You probably read about it in the paper. The mystery. <gasps> well, they're not that crazy on the puns like Ace Attorney. Yes, that was it. As I recall, someone theorized that Miss Thullery Maybe it is supposed to be like mystery, though. Might even be at the site of the fabled Golden Garden. And now a close friend of yours who lives in Mistholery has sent you in urgently for help. A great archaeological find linked to a mysterious letter with an air of danger about it. I couldn't possibly imagine a situation being more Leighton-esque. He, this is like his first major mystery, according to... Uh, the timing, so... Uh, Emmy, could you refrain from... groupies? Oh, it's gonna be okay. Number one. Number two. Oh, we got two already. Leighton received a letter from his old friend Clark, which held a hidden message within. Why would Clark use such a roundabout way to enlist his aid? The message was written with a typewriter. I must say, it's very unlike Clark to write this way. Yeah, dang. I mean, look, even even the latent sprite, I think, got an upgrade from the past games. Okay, the town of Misthalery is said to lie over the remains of a great golden garden built by an ancient civilization. Does it truly exist? Or is it merely legend? An article in a London paper asserted that the golden garden lies somewhere in Misthalery. Save. Dang, I guess that was the prologue. Oh, I like how it's the different characters for the save spot. Yep. Chapter one, The Fog of Mistholery. So this is Mistholery then. It feels a little eerie. That's actually, a, that's a lot of houses. Uh, Miss Thollery is known for its thick fog. It's said that when the town is shrouded in mist, it's, uh, like something out of a fairy tale. It's not like any fairy tale I've ever read. Well, I don't think you've read fairy tales. I feel like you just read literally everything about Professor Layton. It's just an ordinary wooden It says you can't swim here. Fishing is allowed, though. The wheels are caked in mud from the road. They'll need a wash. The river is pretty impressive. Yes, it appears that several canals flow through the town into this river here. 
Yeah, homeless. Like when you say you're gonna go to the bathroom in school, but you just like leave. It's fine. Sometimes that. Well, at least there's no danger of a drought here. What's that on the top of the hill? Be writing a latent. She probably already has latent fanfics. Self inserted latent fanfics, which are the, like the scariest kind. It looks like some sort of manor. Do hmm. you think maybe that's where your friend Mr. Triton lives? Uh, perhaps. It seems a bit forbo or forbidding for Clark's taste, but never knows. Quite a curious shape, isn't it? Oh, look, someone's coming. Maybe we can ask him about the house. Hello? Hello? Pompadour? Ah, why, hello, my friends. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Miss, Miss Thollery. I am Aldous. <laughs> Charmed. Nice hat. I would like to show you a little something that the locals like to keep a secret. Um, what? That's it. <laughs> this all sounds incredibly sketchy. Please, touch that wooden box with your stylus. But touch it like you mean it. Not just once. And not just twice. Okay. Uh, I, if a man came up to me and was like, make sure you touch that box, I'd be like, I'm gonna leave. This crate looks well sealed, but let's investigate further. Leave it to me. I'll just keep prodding until it opens. <laughs> no! Ah! Oh, whoop. You got a hint point. I don't think that's a secret. We all know that. Yeah, touch it like you mean it. I don't... Sir, calm down. Please quit scratching yourself. Ha, yes, beautiful! She shines like the sun. That, my friends, that is a hint coin. When you encounter a puzzle that you cannot solve, try using one of these little lovelies. But spend them wisely, for they are in limited supply. If you squander them recklessly, I will not be there to dry your tears. Hint coins are hidden in many, many places. So if you see anything suspicious, be bold and touch away. <sighs> That's not the kind of advice you should give to anybody. Consent is key. Also, I'm kind of sad because I think I preferred Stash and Scarf to this man. And that information, my friends, will serve you well in this thollery. Remember to touch anything that catches your eye. Please don't take that out of context or outside of the realm of this game. Also, we're getting a lot of artifacts. Right, okay, I, I do. wonder why this one specifically has so many stuff. We all worry about it so much. And he's off. What an interesting fellow. We didn't even get a chance to ask about your friend. Any idea where Mr. Triton might live, Professor? Yeah, I'm sorry. Don't. Even if you're interested in something, don't just touch it out of the blue. Consent, guys. No, unfortunately, there was no return address on the letter. Well, I'm sure someone in town knows him. Let's ask around. Good idea, Emmy. Let's quickly review how to move around the town. Touch the shoe. Use the stylus to touch. Yeah, write it in your book, notebook. Then touch the arrow. Right you are. Touch the shoe. Pick a direction. Touch the arrow. Got it. And yeah, don't be like Aldous. Very good. Why don't you go ahead and give it a try? Okay. Yeah. Now it's got. I, I don't know. It's just during the speaky times. Okay. This quiet, hazy town is exactly the way I imagined, Miss Thollery. Yeah, especially if you're carrying bad pantomime. The fine mist here is nothing like the fog in London, is it? Okay, um... Point. These hills have quite an unusual geological history, you know. Yeah. Maybe the types of soil around here causes all the mist? I mean, maybe. Gosh, they have a lot to say. Look at that manor house, it rises up over the whole town. Any hint points here? 
Yeah, you gotta remember to change the oil in the scooter. Well, I guess we're just gonna go for now. Oh, hello. Oh, before I forget, Professor, I think we ought to make notes during our investigation. Oh yeah, an excellent suggestion, Emmy. Organized records are vital to an effective investigation. Yeah, touch the trunk, and then there'll be the journal. I almost never look at the journal. I do save, though. Yeah, puzzle index. All puzzles are marked with a tick. Those who are yet to solve are blank. Any previously solved puzzles can be replayed from this menu. Okay, you'll need to go, yeah, location. This is a journal. Yeah, and episodes option. Touch episodes to view additional parts of the story? Do it? What? Well, with all this to keep track of, I'm certain going. I'm certainly going to earn my keep as a research assistant. I'm sure you'll pick it all up in no time. We move on. New episode has been added. Layton's office. When he gets absorbed in his research, Leighton has a tendency to leave his papers lying around all over the place. The cleaning lady, Rosa, has a few wor words. What? Like, is this actually just... Oh! <laughs> that's actually... That's like a little extra thing! Where's Flora? You liked her better? Unfortunately, this is... This is before Flora times, so which makes me kind of sad. She, she did so much in the last game. We finally took her with us. Professor, rise and shine. Uh, eh? Uh, Rosa, is it morning already? That it is, Professor, and a beautiful morning at that. You know, you ought to go home and sleep in a bed from time to time. But I'm right in the middle of examining those curious little stones with the intriguing. Yes, yes, I know that. Who do you think tidied up your office last night? Now look at the state of it. I could just as easily have left it as it, as it is, and it wouldn't have made one blind bit of difference. Really, now, would a true gentleman leave papers scattered everywhere amid piles of open books? I'm still in the middle of reading them, Rosa. I'll put them away when I'm finished, <laughs> of course. You always say that, Professor, but I've never once seen them find them their way back to the shelves. What is this, like, cancel? Cancel Leighton time? Leighton doesn't clean up his books. What kind of man? What kind of gentleman is that? I mean, this is true. She just wanted to, she just didn't want to be alone. Ah, hello, Herschel, my boy. Am I disturbing you? Uh, Dean Delmona, uh, can I help you with anything? Oh, why, yes, indeed you can. I have this puzzle, you see, which I can't seem to solve. My little granddaughter gave it to me as a challenge. Dean Delmona delegating your grandchildren's riddles again? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> well, I suppose I am. But I simply cannot deny that darling child anything. I know we are in the middle of a discussion, Rosa, but perhaps we could hear Dean Delmona's puzzle. You're a sly dog, Professor, but mark my words. Next book I find lying about is going in the bin. Well, well, Herschel, isn't this an article about that extraordinary golden garden legend? I've been meaning to ask you about that, but I've heard that the story is quite fascinating. Do give me your thoughts on it sometime, won't you, my boy? Well, as a matter of fact, I've been meaning to tell you can't understand a word of it. Make it like this, there's no shutting them up. Wow! Rose's got some words! Well, I thought we were gonna do a puzzle, but we just watched the cleaning lady just, like, go off on Leighton. Never seen you before, Gramps. How'd you get to... How, did you come to see the sights? How'd you get into town? Gramps? Gramps, the professor doesn't look that old. 
My age aside, we're looking for the Triton resident. Would you happen to know where it is? Why should I tell you? I'm not saying a word unless you can solve my puzzle. Tourist spotting. These four photos were t all taken in the same place. Three of the pictures were shot by a group of tourists taking turns on a single camera. The fourth photo was taken on another day by an unrelated person. Select the three photos that were taken by the tourists. Really? Yeah, exactly. It's terrible. Yeah, he's a brat. There's a lot of brats in this game. And they're like, I won't do it unless you do my puzzle. And I'm like, but guys, I'm busy. Okay. So I, I'm gonna assume that the two with the dog are from the same day. Let me see if there's, because there's birds, but I don't think that has to do anything. With it. Oh wait, the dog is still in this picture. So the dog probably like came up. Okay, so these three with the dog. Submit. Some puzzles must be met directly. No! What could have gone wrong? Too bad. Here? Something in the pictures will show which three are part of the same group. The dog? That was definitely the dog. Oh, I I already messed up. They're, like the dog. What? Not the dog? But, like, the birds are only in that one picture. I'm pretty sure that's the dog over there. The picture of Papa, yeah. Group of tourists taking turns on a single camera. What other clues would there be? Like, would it be these three then? <laughs> what the hell? There's one common detail that links the three pictures taken by the group of tourists. Prepare the photos until you notice what the detail is. It, like, if it's not the dog, then what the hell is it? Like, seriously. The dog is in all three of these pictures. Most of them are taking use of the timer, and one has an actual person behind the camera. Me? Well, no, I think it's because three of them were done by a group of tourists, and then the fourth one is just an unrelated person. Um. Yeah, this seems kind of like a trick question, because it... like the three photos that were taken by the tourists, like it seems like it should be this, because it's like, hey, look, what's the common detail? Like, it's not like they're wearing the same clothes. Is it because they're all wearing hats? Is this the hat, the secret hat club? They retain in the same place and shot three were, uh... What's the brown thingy on the right? Over there? I'm, Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the dog. That's why I thought it was these three, because all three of them contain the dog, and it's like, it's like, what element do uh, three of the pictures have in common? And I was like, the dog! But that was wrong. And now I'm very confused. A, a doggy, maybe. Also, how are you doing, Vivesha? Welcome. Sorry, I... Is it not the clothes? Maybe... Yeah, well, I can't tell, because none of them are wearing, like, jackets. They're all wearing, like, 
collared shirts. Unless she is wearing a jacket. It's kind of hard to tell, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but they're all wearing hats. Kind of obvious when you get it. Oh, well. Is it because this chick's wearing a tie and nobody else is? You can't tell? Well, yeah. <laughs> Wait, oh, wait, wait, wait. Shot by a group of tourists taking turns on a single. Okay, so the time. God damn it. Okay, it's these three. The dog does. Ah! Yeah, you can tell because of the shadow. It's the shadow. Time to apply some ah! creative thinking. My god, what the hell? The thrill of a good I feel like that was more than a 20. A 20 picarette question. Picture perfect. The three pictures taken by the group of tourists have shadows falling in the same place. This is because they were taken in the short time while the traveler spent in this spot. Yeah, but the dog is the jibati part and the birds. How did those, the, the dog just booked it apparently in that short amount of time. Yeah, I was still trying to get it. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's amazing. How did you do that so quickly? I promise not to tell. Okay, I, I, if you don't tell that I fucked it up. Well, it's no secret. It is the culmination of many years' experience. Now you are going to tell us where to find the Tritons after we solved your puzzle. Yeah, okay, Mr. Triton's house is straight across the rope bridge and then left at the crossroads. My house is up North Alley, but they made me and my mom evacuate. It's really annoying. Why would you have need to evacuate? The Oracle said we wouldn't be safe there and had to leave at once. The Oracle? Oh god, it's another cult. Uh, Oracle? Who's that? I don't know, but my mom said if it weren't for the Oracle, a lot of people would have been in trouble. This is a cult. Oh, her, I, I think she said it was still pretty bad. It's, it's probably gonna take a couple of weeks for it to fully go away, to be honest. Especially since that bruise just did not look very good. She's playing for- oh my god. Wow, I would rather her watch Grey's Anatomy. Intriguing. Any ideas, Professor? Uh, still too early to say, but perhaps it has something to do with the giant in the letter. Oh, Livatari, thank you so much for the follow. Hello? What kind of chip? I know, the, the chip that makes her like Fortnite. <clears throat> Pudding. Huh? Where am I? What time is it? Oh, no, oh, I'm late. If the chief finds out I was snoozing again, I'm scuppered. Oh, wait, how long have you two been there? Uh, a moment or two. Uh, no longer. Uh, did I uh, say anything while I was napping? <laughs> no. Don't answer that. I trust you'll uh, keep this whole affair to yourselves. Miss Thollery is closed to visitors. Yeah, usually I'd tell you to clear off, but if you promise not to say anything about this to the chief, I might be able to let you through. Rest assured, our lips are sealed, officer. You don't have to worry about us. You could say that I'll keep the secret under my hat. Ah, huh. Thank you, sir. What a gentleman. Now that I'm off to the entrance bridge, sworn to protect and all that guff. <laughs> Okay, well, cool. Hey, going. Dude, what do we have here? Doesn't seem to be anything of interest there. Echo! Stop. Okay, uh. Yeah, I know it's nothing but canals and bridges. Um. Ah, uh, there are small steps in the road. Be careful not to trip. Ooh, oops! Oh, I thought that was going to be like... It makes a noise usually when you click something, you can click multiple times. 
Well, he blackmailed himself. I just agreed to it, which I guess doesn't actually make it any better. <laughs> yeah, very gentlemanly. Wow, there's a lot happening. Professor, there are two bridges here, but one of them is roped off. And it seems that the other bridge will take us quite out of our way. The ropes are all tied up in these ridiculous knots. I wouldn't even know where to start untying them. How about we slice through them all and make our way over the bridge? Well, I suppose one could go to the trouble of cutting them all. Or... Or what, Professor? Or we could solve it with this puzzle! Undoing the rope isn't as arduous a task as it first appears. Have a closer look at me. In order to clear all the ropes, one would need only to cut in one place. The whole thing can be undone with one cut! That's right. Have another look and tell me where you think we should cut it. All right, let's see what we have here. You may cut the rope at one of five points. Touch the section you want to cut. Solve the puzzle. Uh... This one. Those are both wrapped around that. Uh, all of it's wrapped. Oh no, that's wrapped around that. Oh, this one's wrapped around the entire freaking thing. Where does it even end? Oh god. Brain. I'm gonna assume, I think it's this one. Puzzle solved! Yay! Da -da -da -da. Correct! Cutting that one spot will unravel the barrier entirely. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I'm starting to get the hang of being your assistant. You're doing a wonderful job thus far, Emmy. Who do you think is responsible for this? Well, there's no sign of the bridge being closed. I suspect it's the work of some local mischief maker. Right. If the bridge were completely unstable, it wouldn't just be roped off, uh, would it? It does seem that this bridge may have left its best years behind it. I think we needn't worry, however. I wish I shared your confidence, Professor. I can't believe people still use this. Do you have fear of bridges? Uh, no, just this one. But you can't even drive over this bridge. Where the townspeople get around? There must be another route into town for vehicles. Of course. Well, I can move your car for you later, Professor. I hate for anything to happen to it. No need, Emmy. I'm sure it will be fine. Let's go ahead and make our way across. Wait, uh, Professor, I think I saw something move. Oh! You got a mouse badge! This may come in useful at some point. A mouse badge? Okay, it was a mouse. Twin bridges, eh? I hope they don't fight like siblings. From the name, I'd say these uh, were built as a pair. Oh! What? Hidden coin? Let's... Mine says market this way. Yeah, market. Aha! Hidden coin. The wood is all rotten. I can't make out what this sign says. Okay, well, I guess we'll go across the bridge for now. I hope not. I don't want Disney to own late. Whoa! What? <laughs> Excuse me! Oh, dear professor! What's happened here? This house has been completely destroyed. Hmm, and the road seems rather torn up as well. Is this the destruction that Mr. Triton described in his letter? We mustn't overlook anything. Jane... Oh, you brought your camera. Of course, gathering data in as many ways as possible can only help an investigation. Still, this is quite a scene. I hope no one was hurt. 
If this is indeed the work of some sort of giant, it seems that Miss Thollery may be in real danger. Well, there's no point in hanging about just speculating. Let's find your friend, Mr. Triton, first. What do you think of this, Emmy? You mean that graffiti? What about it? Do you think it means something? Don't touch that witch's mark! Not unless you want to end up like me! <laughs> oh? Thanks, don't surprise me like that! Oh, I surprise myself sometimes! <laughs> oh, I don't like you, Brock. Oh man, I complained about the state of this dump before, but would you look at it now? I'm sorry, was this your house, sir? You're sorry? Imagine how I feel! <laughs> oh god, he sounds like one half of a comedy duo. Yeah, it was me house! The operative word here being was! <laughs> now the witch's mark appeared and the windy... Then the windies went smash and the walls went boom and the roof went help! <laughs> bye bye house. Actually, you can't even call it a house no anymore. Not unless you're in the market for some rubble over your head. At least now it lets in all sorts of natural light. It's really just terrible. Okay, then why are you laughing so much? Uh, this is the unfunny half, exactly. Because he's laughing so much at his own jokes. Uh, Professor, I don't quite understand how this is amusing. Nor I. Perhaps we could help him if we knew a bit more about this witch's bark. Some sort of mysterious giant and a witch all in one town. This could be interesting. Yeah. You have a puzzle for me? What with me door being blown out and all, I can't expect a good bit of air circulation in the summer, or in any season, actually. And uh, Layton's just like, man, this person is unhinged. Oh, a puzzle. That's a strange place for a wooden box. Do you think someone left it there by mistake? I can't imagine. Oh, but speaking of boxes, I have a puzzle you might like to try. Pick a package. You have been sent to collect one of the 16 stacked boxes shown below. Unfortunately, the note describing the location of the box got smudged, and you can't read all of the conditions. Oh, no. Hello there, foe. How are you doing today? Welcome. Touch the tr correct crate, boy. The color of the box on its right is eh. The color of the box on its left is eh. The color of the box above it is eh. It's the same color as the one below it. Which box could satisfy all these conditions. In that one? Because it has boxes on its right, left, and above. And it's the same color as the one below it. Submit! What do you think about this? Yay! I'm smart! I did it, Professor. Alright, see you later, Otter. Eating foof? Oh, what'd you get? Oh, I gotta figure out what I'm eating tonight. I had sausage last night. Um, you could still, you know, maybe I'll make curry. I can make like sausage. Ole verde with chimke. Yes. It does sound good. Great work. <laughs> Great work. Killing me. Five boxes of the same color as the box below them. Only the of those, only one box has another box above it, on its right, and on its left. Yay! I picked the right package. Good work, Emmy. You made it look positively easy. That's because it was, Professor. Give me more of a challenge next time. Please don't ask him that, Emmy. I don't want that. Haha, <laughs> that's the spirit. Here's one that's worth 100 Pickerats. Those houses over there don't seem to be damaged at all. This building is in a terrible state. Oh no, is it Texas? <laughs> Get it? It looks as though the range of the attacks is quite narrow. Okay, um, uh, could have made this big hole. 
need a great deal of force to make a hole like this. God. Okay. It seems a lot harder to find hint coins in this game because they talk like every time I click on something. Kind of hoping that. Oh, no, I didn't want to look at this. It is. Range of attacks is quite narrow. I guess we'll just keep going for now. Seem to be having a lot worse luck with points. Hello? Ah, it's all rusty! It's evidently a water pipe, but I don't think it's in use anymore. Puzzle. Oh my, what a mess! Do you need help, madam? Uh, may we be of assistance? Oh, if you wouldn't mind, I just need some help getting all my things back into the cart. I'm so sorry. Really, it's no trouble at all. Thank you, I'm most grateful. Puzzle time, put it in the cart. Make sure that they don't overlap. I, I loaded this cart in such a hurry that everything fell out when I hit the first bump in the road. Can you put everything back without leaving any spaces so the load is secure? Please, pretty please. All I ask is that you help me reload the cart. Okay, pack the I need the, the luggage neatly. This. Yeah. This. Did I just figure out this puzzle? And the first try I a did, because I'm a genius! To be sure. Ah! No puzzle is without an answer. Even though I messed up on that one shadow thing, but we don't talk about that. Well done! This also works with every item rotated 180 degrees. With my cart so securely loaded, I have nothing to fear from these bumpy roads. Dang, how much is... Did you... Oh, uh, did you just move your whole house? I believe your belongings are in order. Oh, that's perfect! Now I'd better hurry up and leave the area. Uh, is there an emergency? Haven't you heard? There's some huge lout smashing up the town. I packed all my valuables and fled. The police told us to evacuate, so I did. This is as far as I got. I'm just hopeless, aren't I? Of course, if the Oracle weren't around, we wouldn't know where we'd be fleeing from. We heard about this Oracle just recently. Who is it? I'm not sure myself. The police hear directly from the Oracle, then they inform the town. You two ought to be careful when you're walking around town. And thanks again for the help, you've been very kind. Hmm. Professor, are the people here really superstitious enough to believe this that this giant exists? Uh, thus far, we've seen a destroyed house and this lady rush off her feet. Whether they believe it or not, it all seems to be related to Clark's letter. We should reserve judgment until we reach Clark's house. I expect it's just up ahead. Hey look, another copper. The road ahead's been blocked off. You'll have to find another way around if you want up there. It appears we can't go this way. I think Clark's house is to the left. Let's head there. Hold on a second, you two. Uh, yes? Can we help you? From the looks of you, I suppose you're travelers of the, uh, uh riddle-like sort. I hear something special happens to your puzzles after you solve five in a row. Something special? What do you mean? Ah, well, that there's something you'll have to verify on your own. Now stop bothering me. Off you go. Shoot! But you were the one who called us over. Well, Professor, what could this something special be? It's hard to say. I suppose we'll find out when we solve five consecutive puzzles correctly. With you and me working on them, Professor, We'll have five puzzles solved in no time. <laughs> I imagine that we will, Emmy. Now let's find Clark's house before it gets too late. Dang, all hint coins got in. Oh, no! It's the mouse. I need that mouse token. I wonder if I can leave and come 
back. Is there a mouse over here? Is there a mouse in every place? Water is surprisingly clean. If it was a bit warmer, I might be tempted to dip my feet in. Mouse? I wonder what exactly makes it so mouse. That thing like just yeeted across the screen though. Okay, Mouse. Well, it's fine. Look at this boat, Professor. Hello. The people of Miss Thalery must navigate the town via the canals. People must travel by boat as much as they do on foot. It's like Venice, and only more quaint. I imagine that boats are used here more than automobiles. We've got to ride on one before we leave, Professor. That sounds lovely. And after we've spoken to Clark, let's find ourselves a boat. Mr. Triton's house should be just over this bridge, shall we? Well, let's talk to this man, because he's got a problem. Hey, hey, hey! Don't think I've seen you folks around here before. You can't get by in Miss Thalery without a bit of old Bucky in his boats. No, sorry, I don't want a bit of old Bucky. My boats glide as graceful as a swan, but quicker than a stampeding cattle, and that's fast. We'll keep that in mind during our investigation. Uh, thank you. Say, you look like the puzzle fair and folk. How about a quick one? Oh. River crossing. This guy has a normal face. I mean, compared to other people, fairly normal. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no! A man wants to take his dog, two cats, and three chicks across a river using a raft. Unfortunately, the raft is so small that he can only take two animals with him at a time. To make things difficult, he can't leave the dog with just one cat, and the chicks must always outnumber the cats when unattended. Can you help him get all his animals across the river safely? Wow, well... That's gonna be bad, because we go across the... Too bad! I hate these puzzles, actually. Oh, wait, okay. Yeah, I'm glad that you can win. Yeah, I did it! Da 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 da! You could do that in as few as negative five moves, you scrub lord! Thinking. Correct. I love the thrill of a good solution. Because the other one, you could just, it just cut, like went across and you, well, I think you could take stuff with you too. Correct, there are a number of ways to get all the animals across, but the shortest requires seven crossings. Wait. Guys, I did it in seven crossings. I truly am the puzzle pariah. I'm a fucking genius. Feel free to find other ways to do it. I don't have to, I'm already the best. Thanks, Layton. You got it! Should be plain sailing from here on in. Remember, if you want to get around town in a flash, just find old Bucky in his boat. Thanks, Bucky. And boat. I wonder if anyone's watching us from their windows. A gentleman refrains from peeking into people's houses. Oh, what a pleasant view. Life simply seems more relaxed here. 
come to the quiet outskirts of town here, it seems. Okay, um, yeah, they're going to have a lot of bridges, yes. Hit point. Oh, oh, Professor, look at all the little fish over there, too. The fish are most fascinating, but please don't fall in. A pretty little bridge, yes. Wait, yeah, the way he yanks his... No, I don't want to touch him. Feel the bobbin of the craft, a gentle pull in the oars. Yep, I was born for boats. Yep, sure were. It's hard. Hit coins are hard to find here. Oh, and they, they like repeat what they say if you get into the thing. I guess so you don't miss it. I'm, I'm just so used to there being like three hint coins per area and there's too many things where I, oh, there's one. Okay, there's a chimney one. No, a gentleman does not peek. Peeking is ungentlemanly. Whatever, we're going, it's okay. Ah, ah, got it. I got a mouse badge. That makes two badges. Whatever are they for? Nice. Hello. Oh, <laughs> your head is weird. That large house up there must be where Mr. Triton lives. Wouldn't you say so, Professor? Gooey, I haven't seen either of you around before. You here to visit the mayor? Mayor, do you mean Clark Triton? Yes, exactly. He rules the roost these days. You know him? Oh, he's a finch, and he looks... He does look like a finch. He's... I do, but I wasn't aware that he was the mayor. There was nothing about that in the letter. Oh, so you're an acquaintance of the mayor. Been a while since you've seen him. I suppose you wouldn't have heard about it then. Mr. Triton only became the mayor about a year ago. I'm glad, though. He hasn't let all his recent trouble ruffle his feathers. Oh, and they even gave him, like, a bird-like animation. Ooh. Head to Clark's house. Do you have a puzzle for me, or are you just going to keep doing bird stuff? But I feel sorry for his little boy all cooped up in that house. We used to play together when we were smaller, but I don't see him nowadays. Not so chirpy anymore. Okay. The reflection on the water is quite dazzling, isn't it? What beautifully clear water! Really making me rather thirsty. Like you weren't already, Emmy. For the professor! Push her in. All the water you'd ever want. Actually, she'd probably get mad because her notebook would get soggy. All of her important professor latent facts. It's so green in this town, and the air is so crisp. Canals carry plenty of water through the town. That makes Miss Thalery a rich and fertile place for plant life. Look over that way. The green leaves of the town's trees and bushes seem to go on forever. From here, the town looks quite peaceful and beautiful. Much less eerie. <laughs> I am inclined to agree, Emmy. Uh, this fresh smell of wet grass. Lovely place to live. Hint point, please. I click. Give coin, please. Well, I think that's good enough. We can touch the mouse. Ooh, look at his fancy car. Well, here we are. This place looks huge. Yes, I can see that Clark has done quite well for himself. <laughs> Let's give the door a knock. Head to Clark's house. Oh, there's a puzzle in his mailbox. This is the Triton's letter box. Hmm, it seems to be somewhat the worse for wear. Really, Professor? It all seems fine to... Oh, you're right, the plate is broken. Not to worry, Emmy. I think I can sort this out. Yeah, good job. We're the one who broke it. Letter box plate. It looks as though the letterbox was jerked open at some point and the pieces making up the number plate fell off. Apparently the plate used to read 1, 2, 3, 4, but it's hard to tell how the pieces fitted together. Can you arrange the pieces so the letterbox looks the way it did before?
or, or is that's back. Okay, so okay, so that's the four. We can't turn these. Pieces don't necessarily make up the digits on their own. In fact, if you try thinking about what the pieces aren't making, it'll be almost there. Yeah, they're not making the, the pieces themselves aren't making the digits. The digits are being made by the thing. But I gotta figure out because I can't turn them around. The four has to have a little tail. this actually at all and you can't fit the pieces together to form the digits themselves instead you should use the pieces to create the outlines of the digits you start by working out which pieces belong in the corners it becomes quite easy okay well I guess okay. well actually maybe that how could fit What would make a four? Jesus, I don't like this. That's a Y. At all. Uh, the thing I hate is we can't like move these pieces around. So they just kind of... How the fuck am I supposed to make a four? Unless this is actually like the one. But... Oh, okay, okay. That's starting to look more like something. Okay. But how do I make that look like a one, then? Okay, okay. So everything was shifted too far to the... Oh, jeez! A challenging puzzle, okay. to be sure. Da -da 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 -da. That was A kind of brain-hurdy. No I did it, though. 
Correct. The number one, two, three, four is formed by the spaces between the pieces, not by the pieces themselves. Surely the streets around here can't be that long, though. I, God, I would hate being the postman and having to look at that every day. Oh, lizard! Puzzle six. Letter box plate is now in your puzzle index. There. All better. Well done, Professor. It looks as good as new. Uh, okay. Well, I must say that is quite an impressive vehicle. I can see it sparkling from here. And then it just, like, snaps off. Oops. Stepping stones, gosh, this really is a fancy front garden. A simple and elegant way to integrate the canal into the decor. There must be plenty of light in the afternoons. Judging from its size, I would say that's the dining. Oh yeah, he is an archeologist. I'm like, how the, how do you even know, Leighton? But he knows. Um, final hint coin. Is there a room up there in the attic? How charming! I'm not terribly keen on low ceilings myself. Okay, well, I guess we'll touch the door. Coming! Oh, that's he? Oh, hello. Yes, may I help you? Hello, my name is Herschel Layton. I'm an old friend of Mr. Triton's. He asked me to come here and pay him a visit, so here I am. Mm, I will inform Mr. Triton. Please wait here. I don't suppose you were planning on visiting the Oracle here in town, were you? Ah, we heard something about an Oracle earlier. Could you tell us a bit more about it? Oh! Always carry a knife. Hello, RC. Oh, don't ask me. I'm just a poor old maid. You should talk to Dolan about that. Dolan's our butler. I see, then I will ask Dolan when I get the chance. Mm. Uh, sir, madam, Mr. Triton will see you now in the parlor. Managed to get back to sleep earlier? Okay, good. The parlor is through the door on the left. Please wait there. Thank you, my good man. He's like, I'm not your man. Flowers. Lights. Plant. Broom. Broom puzzle! Somebody's left a broom propped up here. It doesn't do much for the appearance of this place, having a broom left in the hole like that. It makes the place feel a little shabby, but it did remind me of this puzzle. See for yourself. Wow, a broom makes places shabby? No, a broom cleans things up. Popping up. The quality of these mops is so poor, they take two days to dry after the day they were used. That's really bad. What is the minimum number of mops that you would need to clean every day for a month of 30 days? Um. The days are dry after the day they were used. So wouldn't you need three? Maybe it's just two. No, because you'd need another day after... Because it's the two days after the day they were used. So... But usually these ones are always kind of weird.
Oh, and they break. I totally, I, I didn't even like register that part. I said it and they break after just three uses. What is the minimum, minimum number? Then it would have to be 10. It's just, it's straight up just 10 because it's 30 days. So no matter what, 10 is still the lowest you could do because they break after three uses anyway. So if you did nine of them, they'd only last 27 days anyway. Submit, it's 10. I think I've got this one. Whoa, whoa! Okay, that's a different way to do puzzle solvies. No problem. Okay, yeah. You mop this puzzle up. You would need 10 mops. The trick is to use your fourth mop frugally. Three mops are used up every nine days. The fourth mop can be used once on the 10th day. Follow the same pattern for the next 10 days, using the fourth mop once again. By the 30th day, you will have used only 10 mops. There are a few other mop distributions that work. Perhaps you found one of these alternate solutions. You just need 10 mops to do 30 days. Yeah, this is some crappy ass mops. For a rich person, they really don't do much for the mops. Popping up is now in your puzzle index. Ah, so this is how you got so clever. By seeing puzzles where o others only see household objects. <laughs> I suppose I did. I'm gonna try that too. Okay, what's a good start? Light bulbs? Garden shears? Air spray? Uh, in that floats your boat, honestly. Um, I, I mean, I was just trying to look for hint coins. In the stairs. Got it. Okay. I guess I'll go over here. Yeah, if, if Arcee had a mop like that, she'd probably be really mad. Oh, well, look at him walk over there. I can't believe my eyes. They <laughs> used the same voice actor. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, I mean, I know he's a good voice actor, but it's kind of funny when they use the same voice actor like throughout all the games for different people. Ah, uh, too long, my good friend. And who might this be? Oh, of course. How rude of me. I'm the professor's assistant, Emmy Tava. It's an honor to meet you, Mr. Triton. I've heard so much about you. Thank you. Herschel, an assistant. Well, we both seem to have moved up in the world. Oh, hardly. Truth be told, Emmy has already proven herself my equal. Mm -hmm. Oh, Herschel I wouldn't say that. As yeah, as humble Emmy, as ever. Back in London, Leighton and I both wanted to be elite archaeologists. One of us certainly succeeded, and somehow I found myself as mayor of this small rural town. Uh-huh. Well, the last person who was a mayor that had your voice was evil. That is no small feat, Clark. Oh, Herschel, no need to humor me. It is amusing at best, I'll give you that. <laughs> but all that aside, please, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? you it, excuse me, you sent me a letter. I came as soon as I received your letter. Letter? I'm sorry, Herschel. What letter is that? What? Uh, uh, what? The letter that... Uh, did you not, not send this letter? Excuse me? Please, have a look. <gasps> I certainly did not write that. But who would have forged it? Well, it's a typewriter. Can you really forge on a typewriter? I mean, I guess it's still forgery, but... recently dang of course herschel i'm the mayor what <laughs> is that how that works here in town <laughs> if you're the mayor well i mean i guess when you're the mayor of any place like there's enough people that some people are just gonna hate you no matter what you do yes that is what i am thinking now as well It's like, why, well, yes, Herschel, I'm a famous streamer. <laughs> of course I have people that that consider me their enemy. Good question, Emmy. Mr. Triton, there was a hidden plea for help in that letter. Clark, do you 
think this is simply the work of some prankster? Mm, no, unfortunately, I don't. Oh? Miss Tolleray is in grave danger. Oh? We have indeed been under attack by some sort of mysterious giant, just as that letter states. Okay. It wreaks havoc at night when the fog is thick. I mean, the fog it is kind of thick. But it is true. But how can that be? I must confess I have yet to see this giant with my own eyes. However, the destruction of homes and buildings left in its wake, that is quite enough evidence for me. The yeah. townspeople are afraid. They believe that the Spectre has returned with a vengeance. Uh, the, excuse me? The Spectre? Yeah, Layton's like, oh, the what now? There's a legend here that tells of an ancient spirit, a Spectre. When the town was in danger, the Spectre would act as Miss Tolleray's guard. Hello, Bez. How are you? I'm puzzling. But this Spectre is different. Different. Instead of protecting us, it is trying to destroy us. Well, that seems bad. I am doing all I can, but if we are dealing with an ancient entity, then I fear my efforts are in vain. As the mayor, it is my duty to keep this town and its citizens safe. But I... Herschel, could you... Sir? Uh, yes? What is it, Doland? I'm in the middle of something, Doland! Pardon me, sir, but you mentioned that Professor Layton worked on some difficult cases for Scotland Yard. You said, with great pride, that he had assisted in solving them all. Perhaps we could ask for his assistance here as well. Of course, Doland. That's what I was about I to do. I have no other choice. Doland. Herschel, will you help us? Please, for an old friend. Of course, Clark. I would never refuse a friend in need. I assure you, I will do what I can. Dang. Thank you, Herschel. I am eternally in your debt. Okay, I'll remember that later. Things are starting to get good, eh, Professor? Before we go, Clark, I haven't even asked about Brenda or your son. Yeah, Brenda. How is Luke? How is Luke? My wife is fine. She's away. Family oh, no. Matches. Luke has shut himself up in his room, as usual. As usual? Wow, you sound like a great dad. I would like to say hello to Luke, if that is all right. I haven't seen him since he was a baby. Maybe he'd enjoy a good puzzle. Of course. I think he might enjoy that. Well, hopefully you get that card soon. I should warn you, he has been withdrawn lately. Some days, I can't even get him out of his room. Oh, don't worry. Professor Layton can get anybody out of their I rooms. I ask him what the matter is, and he responds with silence. Perhaps it would be good for him to talk to someone outside of the family. I would appreciate that, Herschel. My pleasure, Clark. Yeah. I shall have a few words with Luke before Emmy and I begin our investigation. Okay, let's go find Luke. Save progress! Was that the end of chapter... the first one? The boy who foretold disaster.